slightly awkward. It's fine, I'm used to, I'm used to awkwardness. For the preparation going in, I would say half happy and half not sure because I feel like for sure playing against the world's teams, we definitely could find more the, the points where we are making mistakes. So it's good in a sense where we figure those out and able to like fix it. It's actually been going decently well. Um, it doesn't feel like there's a huge gap anymore. I would say play-ins would actually make us even more ready for the, the real group, so I would say the prep is generally pretty good. We kind of covered most of the champs that we think are going to be meta. Obviously it's hard to have a perfect grasp of what you'll feel the most comfortable on or what's going to be the best in the meta for us. I'm pretty confident of our strats or you know our picks going forward. People are an orange. Many people are lazy to buy oranges, but he doesn't eh? give a shit. He will peel the orange. I'm very rare person will actually peel. I'm offering it to you. I'm like doing work. He's actually offering it to me as well. What a good jungler he is. He's doing this so he can run into crab and die after. It's actually a trade offer. Give me one slice of orange for one death of crab. That's good. No, it's for a blue buff actually. Well, I haven't seen a blue buff in a long time. Honestly. Oh. They don't want us opening it out on stage. Uh, there's, there's a Lico here. Okay, Chen. Uh, you seem like you're doing a good job at opening. Uh, yes. So the big dub. They actually lowered the lights. So left foot, so I can right. Play. All right, guys, you already know what winning moment feels like because you've won so many times. Oh. All oh, <laughs> right. Oh yeah. So, so when it happens again, it's the normal thing. You did it MSI, but it's just a, there's only a slight difference. There's less. Hammy walking out and all the rest of it this time. Five. Yeah, go on, just in case. That's it, perfect, perfect, yeah. perfect. And then just count them up yourself, three, two, one, and do the bow. Three, two, one, bow. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, one well, minute. And then guys, if you can, you'll go back onto the sled, unplug your peripherals, make sure you've got everything with you, because you prefer to take your break. Go back to leg from World 21, welcome! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes! This is a favor. No, it's really true. I would break it if I was. You'll break it if you do. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty Wow, that's like rock hard. That's like real bear. Oh, Maddie! Maddie! What? Matt. You've been losing planes. Be ready to film me here. I'm going to break their symbol. What? Of it's gonna be good content. I'm gonna break the paper. Oh, so like to try to hunt? Because they see the 
Both won by the Han okay. in the Han Dynasty. Maybe crying will help you. He will help me? Okay. Ah, he said you will help me. Okay. Good. Well, I need that. I tell you, perfect. perfect. What can I say? You know, I just keep the nary close. <laughs> 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 I'll get out of the way for Maddie. We're good. Hello. 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 Oh, no. You want to kill? Slightly awkward, you know? It's just slightly awkward. But it's fine. I'm used to it. I'm used to awkwardness. I love being awkward. As you can tell right now. big question here today now of course for cloud nine when we zoom out they've always been at worlds but not in 2020 so it, this is their great return they're also the team out of the major regions that has gone through planes the most out of everyone chronicler and i think when you look at kind of the aftermath of msi then how they really improved in every position throughout the summer split in the lcs you got to be hopeful of what cloud nine can uh, prove in this first game but in worlds in general oh. Oh. Yeah. all right I'll, I'll speech i'll speech okay guys we're at worlds we're gonna be fucking confident we're gonna show up today and we're gonna own them, okay? I like it. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Sure, but sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, more. Like guys. Go. Go. So now, three, one, two, three, 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 DFM invests a ton into the top lane, but the Narbrix on our back. It's another double for Perks as he goes 4 0 2 so far in the game. He's looking to make it 5. Gang caught out. It's a triple for the C9 mid laner. Perks makes a statement on his return to world. And C9 announced themselves on the world stage with a win versus the DFM. Perfectly with a 4 5 Alphar. Silas. Alter 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 Silas. We'll find the double in the 1v2 play. Whoa! And Cloud9, they're going to pick up their second win at Worlds. Oh Looking like quite the ripple bear power play here as Blabber on a Kylix. Breeders deletes one off the map. Make it two there for Blabber. As it's three dead already on the side of Galatasaray. It's Balula trying to fight his way out once again. With his Whoa! only crazy left alive to tell the tale of his destroyed Nexus. As Cloud9 are just rampaging through this game. Congratulations, you guys. How does it feel? This is the year. This is the year. Yeah. This is the year. Yeah. This is the year. 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 This <laughs> I was getting the water, but I was about to walk out no, together, so I'm putting everything out. Get your ass back. I just want to play so badly, man. Play Dota. I want to play Dota. Yeah. Whoa. Oink. Oh my God, that's my jeans. <laughs> I cannot stop. Oh, your skin got cut. <laughs> Your shots. That's how I don't press That's how you don't press tournament. I have a skill for tournament. It's like it presses every time at, at, when I'm 5 HP. Yeah. Excuse but me? this time it didn't. Okay. <laughs> because they took it away from me, fucking Riot Gamers. <laughs> took away my tournament script. It's so okay, you usually have it. Usually I never miss it. So like, you're right. Welcome back everyone, it is potentially our final game of today as Cloud9 are looking to lock up first and push themselves into the main stage of the World Championships and in their way, Boxy, is Unicorns of Love. Their coach looks too good, so we're trying to fix it. <laughs> Mithy's just getting gas right Like, we're not trying to make him look Yo. worse, we're trying to make Mithy look, look better. So we need like sunglasses or we need like, uh, maybe like another watch or something. 
eight breath. Or like if anybody has like a uh, grill. Today, guys. No. They are zero three. They'll come in strong. They don't want to go all four. They have but nothing to lose. And also they if they win, then lose. they can still make it up. Yeah. 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 Fear I'm, nothing they to lose. We are their gatekeepers. So we are the gatekeepers. Them into the Yes. Play confident. I agree. Not too confident. Sinatra! <gasps> One, two, three, Sinatra! Now Sinatra trying to fight back with Vulcan. A little too low. TP coming in. That's a very nice GP ulti. Fudge actually does take a buff, but Santa's in. Gets the ulti down. Fudge finds the flash. Flyman does fall as well, so it's a one for one so far. But maybe going to be two for one. Unicorns will have to kill the double perk. Oh, oh my god. In the middle of everyone as Unicorns are alive. Are we going to make the play? GP oh, ulti oh. stolen there for Sass. Looks like it's for Unicorns are alive. Fudge already dead. Blab alone. Camille charging into the front line. The Knight's done there for Vulcan. But they still can't get the kills. The Nana Sick is going to try and assassinate Sven. He does get it done. And Unicorns are alive. Just so aggressive. Oh, winning man. every. Wow, we are so slow. Well, hopefully we're awake now. So grief, I can't believe it. So much grief everywhere. I don't understand. Move on, doesn't matter. Nah, what matters is next game. Okay. Reset, boys. We got a game to to play. So, do we still need five minutes to choose side? How does it work? Uh, I have no idea. Looks like they like literally just changed their mind on. Yeah. Do we have to, what was the question? Side selection. Uh, my mind is right now. So, that game felt like everything that could go wrong in the early game went wrong. Also, our ball is winning, but we didn't do anything about it. We didn't get like any sort of lead out of it. We actually gave away, away a dragon to them for some reason, which was a big mistake in my opinion. They they came out strong. They definitely did not want to go zero four, and honestly, just had a bad day. Guys, we lost. We lost with me to speech, so I'm gonna do one really short one. So let's not play like bitches. Let's play like men. Let's take like good fights and let's uh, sorry and the woman as well. And let's just let's just have good communication what? and just go. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's just go. Do it. And then we'll lose. Two, three, two, three. That actually brings me. Gonna have to walk into Cloud Nine's Burg. This is kind of what you want. But I have to watch so many flanks here for the Infernal Rift. And the other Dragon's been started. Now Detonation Burgers will be going in. Vulcan running interference in the front line, but he's not even going to get the ulti. He does get it up a little late, but it's going to get jumped on there by Steel. And now he's just dead. Yes! Does get caught there by Hoosier at the end of it all. I think the Elder Dragon actually killed him. <laughs> Does do so, but Detonation Burger to be knocked down. That Baron up cannon's still there. This is so tough to hold. That tower is going to melt every once again. Who else is diving into the back line? And, and now Unipod's taken out too. Detonation Focus, we get another as Unipod grabs the double. There is the fourth heavy forcing out Fudge. And they will do it. Detonation Focus me. So that game, I thought the draft was going pretty well on the first phase, but um, I, like we got what we wanted, I'd say. Yeah, I, I don't know. Going into uh, like the last two two draft like two picks and bans, uh, 
yeah, um, it just felt like we didn't necessarily know uh, what to pick for mid lane because there were so many bands and uh, we ended up picking up Poco, which was actually quite fine because we had like three winning lanes with a winning jungle matchup, so uh, we were gonna be getting soul early and just snowballing through that, but had uh, like a, a moment of like actual control and we could have probably fought them for soul and have been in a pretty good spot in the game. We, we just miss, like, we just fucked up terribly and uh, and then we just got outscaled and it was very hard to win from that point. Alright boys, let's do it. Just one to 3C9. Really? Oh right, <laughs> really? Oh, okay. Fist and first. Yeah. Right. Fist and first. One, two, three, C9! Forcing the big engage, but he is first to go in a lot of cases, by the way. This is one of those examples into the tidal wave we go. Sven has to get in the arena to have to fight here, and now Fudge is going to flash through Babbitt. Oh. Protected in the little circle of his ulti, but Aladoric not so lucky. And Sponge now going to spin through and try and finish off the rest of Pete with the Chachi. Does transform, but Blab attacks him, and he's going to get backed up by Fudge as Sven takes out Tally, and it's only Violet left alive. Do they can get done here, retaining full duration of the buff. Lava is once again running aggressively <laughs> towards the enemy team. A literal 1v4. Gore Drink is back to full HP. Still not done. Fudge finds the double. Lava finds two as well, and it's Tally, the only one left to keep, not give away the A. Tower is dead. Cloud9 going for it. Aladoric looking for it. Finds a charm on his man, but it's so far back that it just doesn't matter. It's a double kill already for Sven. It's absolute carnage here for Cloud9. It's going to be an ace. 19 minutes through a quadra kill. Dancing Shelly. Sven. Dancing Shelly on the table. Cloud9 trying to punch that ticket into the wall. No, going to kill her. Nice, mate. Nice. Good, good coaching today, boys. I died twice to support Roman in this series. I died twice to support Roman in this series. That's all my dad's. How broken is it all? Like, <laughs> it's the only thing that can kill me is enemy support. <laughs> you know, sucks about the Vapor Survive because it's extra information for our opponents, but also good for us to get some more practice on stage and I could play some Lucian games, which I hadn't played in, in the actual group stage. Um, so it was not too bad to play a P5 against Peace. And yeah, I, I think there's a big gap like team-wise and player-wise, so um, usually best of five determine the player skill quite well, but you know, the player mental is also a thing, and if Peace, came, like honestly, the first game was actually quite close, so like if Peace might, would have managed to win that game, maybe the mental would crumble and there is a chance that they can actually get us to, you know, five games or something like that, so that, that can happen. I've seen it happen before, so that was the, my only real worry. Uh, other than that, just I felt we felt pretty confident. Group A, um, it's a tough group, obviously. I, I mean, no one's gonna deny that. Um, the expectations are probably if we beat Europe, it's a success. Um, if we do more than that, it's probably pretty good. And you know, worst case, there's already been a team that's gone zero six. So, um, you know, I think the stress level should be pretty low for every player, and it should just be about you know just going in and doing damage and just not not giving a shit about who you're playing against and just making sure that you, you have a good game and you enjoy yourself. And I think with that mindset, we, we honestly have a pretty, like, it's honestly a reliable shot at, at making it through. So I'm not gonna be ashamed or embarrassed if we lose to these teams. If we go 0-6, it will be kind of disappointing. I will say that. I hope that we can at least get a couple wins and, you know, never know. If we can take a couple wins and maybe our groups, I don't think it's impossible. So I have high hopes, but I don't have high expectations, I guess. Well, Blaine's wasn't super beautiful. I think we had a good start. And then two oopsie games and my game against Peace wasn't too good, but I think that we can still do it. So I hope that fans will keep cheering for us because I think that we can do some real damage at Worlds.